What is going on, guys? Today we're gonna be fixing the reverse LEDs. Mo from Auto Attic hooked it up. Send me some LEDs. Cause let's see if I can show you guys. See this one's on. Let's go to the other side. That one's not on. Uh, I got something special coming in tomorrow. Hopefully they do show up tomorrow. So I will continue this video tomorrow and show you guys what I got. So let's get this install going. All you have to do, whoever wants to do this on their Camaro, you could get a flathead or a, what's it called, a plastic tool. Remove these three clips. This cover will come off, and you could access the reverse bolt from here. So let me remove it for you guys and show you guys how it looks. Got the clips out. Like I said, you could just use a flat head. Put it here. Clip it up. Comes off. Here's the piece. Just set it down. And then this is how it looks underneath without that. If you're changing the tail lights, there's a a bolt behind. Well, you can't even see behind this. So you're gonna have to pop this open, remove the bolt here, and then there's two more, I believe, on this side. And then the whole uh, tail light comes off. And we're gonna be swapping tail lights. And then the reverse lights, it's right here. And then the braking light will be under there. So you have to change the braking lights all the way under there. So you do have to remove it. To take this off, these are pretty much on there and they're hard to take off. I usually use a flat head. Try to push this this way. And there you guys go. Came off because they're on there tight. And this is how it looks. This is the one that doesn't work. Like I said, completely different from the ones I have. So, might as well replace both of them so they could look right. So, got them on. Or oh, I got this one on. And test it out. Just unlock it. Turns on. Doesn't turn on. Then you gotta flip it. And then just put it back in here. Okay, lock in there. That's about it. And then test it out. So it looks the same, but to put everything back is by Versa, the way you took it out. Easy as that. So I'm gonna end up doing the other side. And yeah, pretty much it. I forgot to mention, <clears throat> now that I opened this side, if you are putting LEDs, you are gonna need a restrictor. I, as you guys can see, I do have mines right here to run the LEDs, because if you don't have that, the LEDs will work, but they will stay on, and you don't want that. So, as you guys can see, everything's back. Everything should be working. Let's see if this one works, yep. So, let me push it out so you guys can see how it looks on both sides. So as you guys can see, I moved the car. And let me show you guys how it looks from the rear. See? Way better. So stay tuned, guys. I'll see you guys in a bit. Because it's all going to be together. Guess what came in, guys? Just can't really see. No, but here you guys can see. Well, it's kind of bright. There you guys go. That was the surprise. I got my front set up for the drag pack for the Z01. They're gonna get ceramic coated Thursday, so I can't wait. Thanks to Summit. Racing for that fast ship. 
I'm gonna be ordering the the ties for it real soon for the front and the rear, so I'm going so I could get everything all mounted at the same time. Yeah, you guys can see a little bit better. That's good. See that, but four stars. There it up. Yeah, there. They look. Oh, I don't want to leave my fingerprints in there. Okay. What do you guys think? They look amazing. So, yep, that is the surprise, guys, that I was telling about earlier. And, yep. So, the next thing is for me waiting for the brakes. That comes in Thursday, getting the wheel ceramic coated Thursday, too. And just when I see it, I get tired. I'm also still trying to get a hold of the insurance. As in, I email them, call them. And I haven't heard a word back because once I do, cars going back to Cali to RD RD Performance to Ryan and gonna get a few little more goodies to the car and can't wait for that too. So you guys can see I still haven't put anything away and heard the doorbell and I was like, what the hell's going on? I wonder who it is. I told my niece not to open the door. And it's actually my brakes for the rear. I got these at Wildhammer Motorsports. So this is the ones I went with. The Extreme Street Performance Brake Pads for the rear. So, yep. Nice box. Came with new hardware. That's always good. And oh, it came with the lube. And can okay, take them out. Here they are. So now that they came. I'm still gonna do it either tomorrow, not today, because I'm gonna uh, go get more footage of the uh, my sister's build. We're gonna be um, removing the single cam already and uh, prepping everything for the swap, so we're gonna be doing that, and that's gonna be in a separate video. So far, just right now, it's, as you guys can see, the brakes, skinnies, getting a ceramic coated probably. I'll probably record a little bit of that, and I have the LEDs. That's about it for now for the Z01. But yeah. So I continue the video. It is Wednesday. And my hair's kind of messy. I need to go get a haircut real soon. But the car is jacked up because today we are going to be installing the new brake pad. I already have the car jacked up. Just got to remove the lug nuts. And get started on it. Yeah, Brembo brakes so it's usually uh, these metal clips right here. This one, two, and then pretty much the little metal piece is going to come off and then this brace is going to come off.
it's just those clips so you can see this one's already coming off I know it's kind of dark let's see. there you guys go it's this one and then the top one too is coming off it goes one I know how well you guys can see yeah It goes two. Like I said, the bracket comes off. Like I said, surprisingly, this kit they came with new ones, which is good. And time to remove these pads. Even, but well, yep, they were in the last line. Damn. <laughs> Like I said, good thing I stopped driving the car because I would have been replacing rotors real soon too. In this. So, the way to put the new brake pads because they do have more life. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, you guys kind of see, see if it focuses. There's a piston here, there's a piston up here. Same thing on the other side. You gotta try to push those in, and then the new brake pads will just slide in perfectly. But for the meantime, I know you guys don't want to see this, but I am going to clean my. No, I'm probably going to install them first and then clean my my caliper. But yeah, any suggestions? Like I said, if you guys, what color should I paint my caliper? Let me know. I'm interested. To see what you guys think. There you go. Yeah, I show you guys. Hopefully, I could show you guys this. But you see, there's the big opening spot now after the pistons are pushed in completely all the way down. So. Everything's back on. You gotta make sure once you put the pins, you know, the pins start coming out from the other side because if they don't, then it's not all the way seated and could come off. So, double check on that. Feel if it's flush on the back. It is, and there you guys go. Pretty much that's it. Right versa on the other side. I'm not gonna record that because I don't wanna make this, like I said, this whole video super long. So, Yep, see you guys when it's all done. Car's back, let's lower it. Yeah, brakes are all done. Car's complete, 